it's Graham here at Crash John, and today I want to show you some new features on the Microsoft Teams panel. So recently, Microsoft announced new features called Line of Business Applications. What does that mean? Well, what we're able to do is add some applications to our Teams policies, and then push out applications built in Teams, very similar to how you develop for the desktop. So for example, here outside my meeting room, I have added two buttons to my scheduling panel. The first one is Room Cleaner, and the second one is a Meeting Room Feedback Survey. So let's press the Room Cleaner button. It's loading my Microsoft Power app I have developed. And what this will allow me to do is alert someone that the meeting room needs cleaning. So what I can do is say yes or no. So I click on the yes button, and that will then start a workflow. And you may have just heard a little ding, and that's because I have an email. So when I press the yes button, it can send a workflow. Now, for this example, I have done a very simple email. This could be into a to-do list. It could be into an SMS, for example. It could be a phone call. However, you want to you know, utilize the power of the Microsoft 365 stack and use all the great automation tools that you can do by building workflows. So in this example, I want someone to come and clean the room. They're going to get alerted for that. Now, you could expand this by also maybe booking out the room afterwards as well. So loads of ways you could do things with, with uh, Power Automate as well to actually add more steps onto here because you may want to reserve the room out till it's clean. So that's one example. And another example I can show you quickly is my meeting room feedback survey. So again, I click on that button, it loads my little power app, and then it will ask me, you know, was the meeting room uh, good? I can submit some feedback and I can say yes or no. In my example, I can say yes, that's all good. We know the meeting uh, was successful. The technology worked in there, for example. If you said no, you could also then build a workflow. Uh, maybe it needs attention and give some drop down options. So you could build that list. So it's, people don't have to type on the panel. You could have a little drop down list there if you wanted to. All great ways you can develop within Microsoft Teams. Any questions, let me know below and I'll drop in the link on how to do line of business applications too. Thanks for watching.